Round four of the New Zealand NBL, the Jets over the Saints. The Nuggets handed the Pistons their first loss of the round. The Giants squeezed past Wellington for a close win and the Sharks' next opponent, the Mountaineers, felt well short of the Jets. Well, you can't really fault that performance, can you? Oh, oh yeah. Well, maybe you could. Maybe Coaches, you could. Uh, you know, after perfection, even though we're never going to get it, but, um, you know, our thoughts... I thought there were some areas that we did really well, and I still think there's some areas we can improve in. Um, you know, I, th- I, th- I thought the energy that we started with um, was a bit lackluster, you know, especially given the fact that you know, Waikato's coming off a game last night up the road in Otago. It looked like they had more energy. Um, but flip side of that, I thought we started the third quarter with a lot more energy. And, I, you know, just looking at the stats, I think we started at 15, 15 to 6 run. So, um, you know, that's... That's the kind of energy um, that we're looking for and a bit more consistency over 40 minutes. That first quarter, a few fouls in the first quarter. Yeah, well, that's the other thing that stemmed our flow. We, got, we were in a bonus. We had five early fouls in two and a half minutes. So, you know, that's about adjusting to, to how the game's getting called. Um, you know, I actually don't disagree with, with what was being called too much. I think we just have to adjust as a team and uh, do a bit better job. So, you know, taking Luke Martin out of the game, obviously we, we lose a little bit there just with his intensity. But... Uh, you know, it was a good opportunity for guys to come in and put their hands up, and I, I think some guys uh, did well. Easily took out each quarter. Yeah, I think we did. But again, it's you know they, they had a they had they had a few runs on us. And basketball is a game where you know there, there are going to be runs going both ways. Um, and I just thought we yeah, there were a couple of times in that game, especially sort of halfway through the, the third quarter, and, and at times in the fourth quarter we sort of exhaled and, and we're happy just to be winning. You know. We want to be winning well and playing well. Um, you know, talk about to, to the team. It's about process, how we go about doing things, not not necessarily the end result, whether that end result's a winner or lose, a loss. Um, it's about doing the things that we work on in training and make sure we're consistent with them. The chemistry looks great between the side. Everyone seems to get along really well. Literally get on really well. Yeah, I think that's testament to um, you know recruiting good guys, good quality people, um, and having you know we've had two weeks together as a group now. Obviously, with Leon Henry being here for the whole time and and Morgan and Rubens, so uh, we've had time to build that chemistry and gel as a team and as a unit, and um, you know I think we're, we're going to get better. And the Mountaineers next week, again at home. A huge challenge for us. They've got some really good players, some guys that are doing well. Um, and Kenny Gabriel, you know, put up all-star-like numbers last week on their, on their away double hitter. And I've got a fantastic shooter in Jack Leisure who, um, you know, you just can't give him any space. And, uh, you know, Link Abrams, the old guy, he's coming in and playing, playing some good minutes for them. So, you know, they're going to create a challenge for us. And they play hard and, and they're playing with a bit of confidence. So looking forward to the challenge. You'll have a few surprises for them, though. Oh, yeah, you know, I think, as I said, we've, we've still got room for improvement. Um, and, you know, they've got to come in here and, and, and play good enough to beat us here. And, uh, and obviously we're pretty confident with how we're going. Well, Doug, um, you won't be happy with the start of the season for the Pistons. Oh, yeah, I, I knew it was going to be a challenge. You know, a young team trying to formulate a, a group together is pretty tough, you know, let alone a, a younger group of and people who are like, very enthusiastic but making sure we can stay within our structures. How new is this side? Um, brand new. Uh, Pistons had a year off last year, uh, formulated a team. Uh, a lot of the, um, the older, older guys, the veterans, uh, Wanted to retire, which is you know it's their prerogative. So we're trying to put a, a team together that can be pretty competitive. You happy with the top scorers, your your imports in particular? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just you know trying to pick out. We, we always know those are our guys that can get, generate points, but it's making sure that other people can get involved in it, but staying within our structure. Uh, then going down to the Nuggets last night and to the Sharks tonight, it's not a good trip set up, is it? Yeah, yeah, well, again, it's a flip side. A year's gone by when they used to travel up north and play the Auckland Stars, Waikato Pistons and, and the North Harbours and, and things like that. So it's great for the South Island, great for basketball. How do you think the standard is nationally at the moment? Oh, I, I, think, I think it's pretty good. You know, you've got... Uh, you know, five standout teams that can that can sort of you know there's a log jam at the moment. You know, so you see the Jets, they play fantastic. They got beat by 30, and they come back and beat the Saints again. So you know, could be good. You're happy with the pool of players you've had to choose from this season? Oh, absolutely. You know, a few are unavailable. Uh, young players uh, from the Waikato have shifted or moved on, which is unfortunate, but those things happen. So it's good. So it's uh, big plans for the future then, this for, oh, for the long haul. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, but it's making sure that we can we can play as a group and, and all those things. You know, get rid of the young mistakes that happen. 
Um, so yeah, should be good. Brian, that was uh, a complete, pretty much a complete performance, don't you think? Yeah, no, it definitely was. I mean, we, we came out, we did the scout, you know, for the most part. Uh, there was a couple instances where, you know, we didn't blitz uh, Webster out there and, you know, Paulie was getting mad. But, uh, you know, for the most part, we stuck to the game plan, you know, did we got whatever shot we wanted on offense, definitely. Quite dominant each quarter. Yeah, definitely. You know, we just, you know, like, like I said, you know, we just ran our offense, you know, got shots that we needed to, and uh, we rebounded really well. That was a big key tonight. If you could... Point, point your finger at any faults, what would they be for, for next time? Uh, definitely, uh, if we want to blitz the ball screen, uh, let's double the ball screen, you know, definitely do that a lot better. Our rotations were a little slow, just like half a step, step slow sometimes. Uh, just a little more on point with those, it would have been better. How do you think the team's coming together? The, the side's looking really good. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Our best training was last night, you know, before this game. You know, it's going to be really competitive. You know, uh, both sides are making each other better. So, uh, you know, trainings have been coming together great. And, you know, when those are good, you just going to keep improving. How hard does Paul train you? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Very hard. Yeah, we go a, a legitimate two, two and a half hours, uh, mostly three, three, four times a week, and uh, we get after it. How would that compare to previous teams you've been part of? It's, it's, that's what I've always done. I'm, I'm actually used to three, three and a half hour practices. So, you know, it's, it's been good, the intensity and the competitiveness. Uh, you know, training's been great. We'll let you get back to the fans. Uh, you're very popular for the signatures. Uh, you know, it's, it's been fun. I guess if, you know, we keep winning, you know, we get more fans out and, you know, they're going to want signatures. And it's good, it's good to have that. And another big hit out at home with the Mountaineers. Yeah, no, it's going to be good. And Kenny, Kenny Gabriel's been playing great. So uh, it's going to be another tough matchup just like Zach Atkinson was. So, you know, we'll be ready for it. Great performance tonight. The team seems to be gelling. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we had a few good trainings today, uh, this week, and uh, yeah, we seem to be playing pretty well. But uh, we still got a few things to touch up on. What did you think of? Uh, I mean, it was, a, it was a dominant performance, wasn't it? How can you improve? Uh, just boxing out, I guess. Uh, they got a few offensive rebounds, taking care of individual scouts, and um, just playing hard. I guess we had a few lapses in the first five minutes, gave away a few fouls, but. Yeah, we can all fix up on those little things. How are you feeling? Are you feeling at home here? Yeah, I love it down here. Nice, nice small community, and um, they're real welcoming. So just getting used to the cold, and um, yeah. How different to the setup for the breakers is this? Is this um, a big step backwards or a standard of play? Uh, it's 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 real, the community down here is real nice. Just like the breakers are. Uh, the Sharks community, it's just like a family, just like the Breakers, so that's all we all we need to play well and um, we've got a good coach down here, so yeah, I'm loving it. And the standard of basketball itself within New Zealand, how does it compete with what's happening in Australia? Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of ANBL players in here now and uh, some good imports, but yeah, the, 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 the standard in the ANBL is always going to be high, but it's a good standard for New Zealand and we, I seem to be, uh, it seems to be improving over the years. Mountaineers next week. Yeah. Any plans for them? Yeah. Uh, just go out, play hard, play defense, let the offense come to us and uh, knock down our shots. <laughs> Dan, great game. It was good. Uh, it was good to come out and have a good showing for all the all the crowd that came out tonight. So yeah, we were happy to get a win tonight. Were you worried that the Pistons may have been a bit of a challenge? We were. They're a young and uh, enthusiastic team. So coming in here, you have to be able to execute and um, keep guys like that from scoring a lot of points. But they came in and they 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 fought hard. You know, they got some young, talented guys. But um, yeah, we're, we're excited about the win. With the young side, does that present challenges because you don't know their game play? Or it de definitely does. So we we scout teams before we play them, and a lot of the time you got new young guys coming in that you haven't seen or played against before, and you got. So um, sort of, you, you, you take it as it goes kind of thing when guys you haven't played against before. So it is tough, but yeah, we, we did a good job of adjusting and uh, keeping them off tonight. So the Nuggets have still not dropped a game. The Saints have won the same amount but played seven. The Sharks are steady with three wins and two losses and the Pistons and Rangers remain winless.